set a school record for quarterbacks. The Iowa offense back to work. Adam Robinson finds a cutback record for quarterback. To do in the second half is get a little bit of a running game going, and then that will allow them to. Just 52 yards rushing so far in the game. Robinson, a starting tailback, missed last week's game with a concussion, but he's back and finds a hole. Breaking tackles and finally knocked down at the 47, but a flag. Coming to, and you'll see the face mask coming in here late by Peters. You know, those face mask fouls always aren't on purpose, and most of the time, they're not on purpose. It's just. And the kicking game could be a factor late. Robinson into the secondary again. Iowa starting to lean on Northwestern. Gain of about eight. Iowa start. Robinson picking a hole and gets inside the 40 as we check in with Reese. Man coverage. Stands in. Gets rid of it, and it is ruled. Well, nothing yet. The ball's on the ground, and now they rule it incomplete. Reisner, the intended receiver, it's fourth down. Arnold on the coverage right there does a good job of looking back. You see the ball scraping off the ground. Both guys fighting to maintain it. And Arnold, the backup safety slash nickel dime guy, great position, avoiding the interference, using that left arm to dislodge the football. Stanzi and oh, that was dangerous. David Arnold stepped in front. Hard to tell if he got a hand on it or if the Iowa receiver just dropped the football. McNutt was the intended wideout. Looked like McNutt just dropped it there. I tell you, David Arnold better be careful now. I mean, guys see that he jumped at. You saw Reisner running back. There was nobody behind him. So if you're going to jump it, you better be sure. To nothing, Northwestern outscoring Iowa here in the fourth. Stanzi airing it out for McNutt, and it is caught. Caught by McNutt for a first down. 26 seconds left. Unbelievable. It's a nail throw right there. That's a great throw. A great concentration by McNutt to bring that in under pressure. Stanzi will spike it. One timeout remaining, 25 seconds left. McNutt lost his helmet on the play as he went to the ground, but he maintained possession. Just away from the safety, David Arnold covered two, and that's good position by both guys. Making Stanzi throw over the yep. top, but it's a perfect throw. It's a good play. That ball inside it all, David Arnold can make a play. Good defensive play and a good offensive play. Here we go, Stanzi on fourth down, flushed out of the pocket, looking deep, airing it out, into the end zone, it is tipped and incomplete. Northwestern takes over on downs. I'm in Dallas for the Super Bowl. Oh, ESPNU College Football from Wrigley Field in Chicago. It's the All-State Wrigleyville Classic with Illinois taking on Northwestern. This is the 104th edition of the game, and this one should prove to be a very unique one. The venue, a venerable edifice that was in yards already this year. Got 32 on that run, first and 10. Again, LaSure on the move. and it's first and goal for Illinois. Against the good running back. Build the wall, keep him inside. This time, Illinois out of the I formation. There's no wall there, Mark. McCall LaShore just breaks to the outside. A break down. LaShore again, running between the tackles all the way down to the one-yard line. A three-yard game. Jay Proche, fullback. Now, I know I'm getting excited about a one-yard run, but watch the fullback right here. Bang! <laughs> Made his predictions on college game day on ESPN. A gaping hole for Jason Ford. And he comes down hard at about the 45. Boy, Illinois having their way up front.
An excellent block right there, Jay Porsche. Jason Ford, the imagine UConn could be happy. And every rose, of course, has its thorn. And for the Badgers, it's been Northwestern. The Wildcats have won four of the last six meetings and beat. Bonnie Ball is starting the game at running back. And Ball coming off a career day. 173 yards and four touchdowns against Michigan. Starting lineup at center. That's the strength of this Wisconsin team. And on first down, Ball trying to hurdle a defender gets smoked by David Arnold, gain of two. No, guys, last week Northwestern gave up 513 yards. I mean, that's 513 yards rushing against Illinois. And the reason. The gain of nine for Monty Ball. It's already got over 50 yards rushing here in the first three and a half minutes. Play fake. And Tolzien with time. Smart play. Yep, got rid of it. Over the head of Gilreath. It was a, a newly designed play that Paul Chris came up with. And apparently they're not going to review this any further to see whether Watkins arm was going forward. And Monty Ball gets the carry. Able to bust it to the outside. And out of bounds at the one. It'll be first and goal, Wisconsin. You know, the biggest improvement in Monty Ball is recognizing who Monty Ball is. In training camp, he was trying to be a little. That's not who you are. You're 236 pounds. He's a baby clay. Yeah, recognize what you are. You're power. Right there, good stiff arm on Brian Peters. And able to get A&M, Oklahoma, or Oklahoma State. Ball again. And wrapped up again. Minimal gain on second down. It'll bring up third and long. David Arnold in there first. Let's take a look at our Tostitos BCS team that ended up winning 12 games that year went 12 and 1 and of course Wisconsin can still do that with a win today and in the bowl game is a big running lane for James White Arnold brings him down that's White's first carry of the day you know they just they got about everything you're looking for White picking a hole and he's to the 28 brought down by Arnold after a gain of six Wisconsin with three first quarter takeaway it's ball just powers through a defender and ruled down just short of the goal line looked initially like he got the ball across and now they rule it a touchdown the third already for Monty Ball David Arnold meet Monty Ball Ball is 5'11 and 235 so he packs the wallop also but not going to keep him out. I know that Brett's not afraid of making statements. Put up 83 on Indiana. Tolzien looking for that throwback again off play action. Has Kendricks, who gets lit up as he makes the catch by David Arnold. We asked Bielema about that this week, saying the Big Ten champ rewarded in their meetings for that type of effort Tolzien with time going to the end zone Kendricks is there touchdown they hit him with a double move Kendricks shaking up after the play he's not the only one Northwestern player down at the 37 yard line McNall go down the field and the reason you can do this is the protection you got to have a lot of time down and out and up he gets the ball down there this is a double tight end formation Arnold bites on the out it's just a good throw good catch right there Arnold did a good job of getting a hand in there and strong arms by Kendricks and I don't know it looks like his face mask might have went up into his chin or something as we saw him spit up. The so team hasn't. They lost again today to Indiana in overtime. And on first down, ball stayed in bounds. Everybody stopped for Northwestern. Most of the carries, 15, White with nine. Here's number 16 for ball. Why would you play John Clay the way these guys are running? And also, if Clay is not 100%. You have to say that, but. <laughs> <laughs> 
I know there's eight minutes to go on the third as uh, White is out to the 47-yard line. But I think everyone just call. Pack. Kick. Inaugural Ticket City Bowl in Dallas, Texas. From the Cotton Bowl, we wish you a happy new year. It's 1-1-11 at 11 local time. And Texas Tech playing in a bowl game for the 11th straight year takes on Northwestern, which is making its third straight. And hold it for a little bit longer, change your head movements, your knee movements. Two offside penalties on Northwestern. There's a tip ball. It's caught in the redirection by Zuzalik. Adrian Waddle. David Arnold got his hands on the football for Northwestern. Great play just to get one hand on it and tip it. Good concentration by the receiver. Up for Texas Tech. It's thrown too perfectly. Texas Tech struggled in the red zone this year. Lewis on a wide receiver screen looking for a cutback lane. It gets about four yards, so it'll bring up third down. Win in the Valero Alamo Bowl by Oklahoma State against Arizona. Pass is dumped off to Stevens. They'll come up just short of the first down. Nate Williams and David Arnold there for Northwestern. I want to ask Chris, spread offenses, two receivers on one side, two or three on the other side. Good coach. Inaugural Ticket City Bowl here at the Cotton Bowl. And out of the backfield, McCroy on the catch out near the 30-yard line. Got a six-yard play out of that. Texas Tech. Number one all-time in kick return yards at Texas Tech. And the ball dropped. It was caught by Torres. Now they're saying incomplete. Remember that possession. So it's third down and long. Big play here for Northwestern's defense. That's, to me, that's a catch. That's a catch and a fumble. It looked like he had possession. Potts on second and 11. Finds Douglas. And it's a Texas Tech first down to the 41. Gain of 13 yards. Potts to the sideline again. Zuzalik on the catch. And it's another Texas Tech series of the ball game he started heating up and is staying hot 43rd pass for Potts coming up and that one broken up intended for Torres but a flag David Arnold likely to get called for interference here we're playing a little bit of man coverage right here pass interference number 32 of the defense this is a spot foul. Automatic first down. And he was good until he hooked his right arm. But the problem is it's tough to play man coverage because you know you're not matching up athletic with paper pressure. And guys, there's been zero pressure putting yep. them by the way. Potts tried to hit Zuzalik and it's ruled an incomplete pass. It was close, but a forward pass is. Now this is not even close. Forward pass all the way. Plenty of time on the clock. Potts hits Douglas, but he didn't get much. Wrapped up after a gain of about three. So it brings up third down. David Arnold with a good open field tackle there. It's been successful for sir. <laughs> Stevens, who had an 86 yard touchdown run earlier, gets inside the 15 yard line, close to 20 yards on that run before David Arnold makes the stop. He just shook Jared Carpenter. And, but all their bowl games have been close, including an overtime loss to Auburn in the outback a year ago. Third and nine. Pass to Lewis, picked off by Mabin. A huge play by Jordan Mabin. He might take it back. Mabin all the way. Touchdown, Northwestern. That's what Bob was talking about. You want to run the football, make Northwestern use its last time out, play punt it, play good defense, and they do just the opposite.